First item on your regular agenda is item 7A, which is an ordinance amending Article 9, Body <coughs> Art, of Chapter 26 and Section 48-86 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Wichita Falls, providing a penalty of up to $2,000 per violation and providing for codification. And this is Council Bill Number 26. Is there a motion? Lou, since you're going to be here up all day, to start on your first one, please. <laughs> Mayor, Council, good morning. The, the first thing I want to do is to thank Chris Halcroft from the, the legal department. The two ordinances that are on Council today are, are here largely from the, the work that she put into to both of these ordinances. And so I just wanted to take a moment and, and thank her for all the, the hard work uh, that she's put into these and the... Uh, they wouldn't be here and they wouldn't be in the shape they were in without her so I just wanted to thank her up front the body art ordinance was first passed in 2005 we've not amended the the ordinance since that time when we began looking at it the first thing we did was to go through the ordinance and update all the the definitions and the the state law requirements so that they they would run concurrently with the, the state law. We added two additional sections that majorly revised the ordinance. One of those is a uh, an apprenticeship license. In, in the, the past and currently, to be able to get a body art license, the person has to prove that they have experience with tattooing and, and, and applying body art. There's no, currently there's no legal way for them to do that. And, a shop can hire them, they can uh, work them in their shop, they can learn bloodborne pathogens, they can learn hygiene and, and safety, but there's no way for them to be able to apply ink to, to skin legally. So they, they can draw, they can do all those things. The apprenticeship license will allow them to do that. There are, are guidelines that they have to follow to be able to get an apprenticeship license. They have to be sponsored by a shop so they have to have a, a shop owner who is willing to sponsor them in their shop a shop owner can't support more than two or sponsor more than two artists at, at one, any one time for an apprenticeship license we feel like that any more than two and they can't give them the the time and attention that they need to be able to ensure that that they are qualified to apply body art when a person comes in and they're going to get a tattoo from a, an apprenticeship they they'll have to sign a form saying that they are aware that this is an apprentice and and that they they understand that it's not an experienced artist that's that's tattooing on them um, we met with the the shop owners and and they really felt like this was a, a good thing they have to do an apprenticeship for a minimum of a year some of the the shop owners felt like that that wasn't enough time and wanted to go further but the go out to an, a more extended period of, of time but the majority felt like a year would give them adequate time to ensure that that artist artist was qual qualified to work independently we've also added um, a temporary body art license and this really came as a compromise when the the shop owners came to us they really wanted to be able to have temporary events with within the city where they could bring in outside artists when we went to board of health and and explored that that was not really an option that um, board of health wanted to support and so we went back and and looked at that and talked to the the owners and what we came up with was a, a temporary body art license so that if they have someone that they want to bring in for no more than a two-week period of time and that person can come in and apply for a temporary body art license and they have to show that they have they have a, a license to tattoo in another jurisdiction whether that's somewhere in Texas or anywhere in the, the United States they have to have a, a current license in in another area to tattoo and those license requirements have to be uh, equivalent to what we require in the city of Wichita Falls for them to obtain that that license um, we felt like that was a, a good compromise it would allow the shop owners to bring in a uh, feature tattooist and and bring additional business into their shops but it still limits what they're able to do and it, it in, allows us to ensure that those artists are um, qualified to be tattooing and and those are the major revisions to the ordinance the Board of Health has uh, recommended this for 
adoption as well as the staff of the health department. Do you all have any questions? Any questions from council? Just had one, Mayor Tim. Uh, Lou, how often do uh, how often do we get over and inspect there? Is it once a year they just get a license like? Um, body art establishments are inspected monthly. Monthly, okay. Thank you. That's good. <coughs> Anybody else? Lou, the, I've got one question on the temporary artist. You yes, said sir. that's for two weeks. Yes. Is there a limit in a calendar year how many two week periods they can have? Because mm. if there's not, what you're going to have happening is somebody come in for two weeks and then take a week off and he's back for two weeks and take a week off. Generally, what we it doesn't it doesn't limit the number that they can have in a year. Quite frankly, that's the first time it's it's been brought up or it's been thought about. Um, we'll look at that if someone's coming in. What they what we heard from the the body shop owners was that because tattooing is such a a mobile, you can do that anywhere you go as long as you've got a place to set up and, and do that, is that when tattoo artists go on vacation for a week or two weeks, they like to be able to work in an area where they're at. And so this will allow them to do that. So I don't foresee that being an issue, but it may be something that we have to address. The, the other thing that this ordinance will do is it moves our fees to the, the fee section. And we'll add the, the two fees, one for a temporary, the temporary artist and, and one for the apprenticeship. The other fee that we've added is a retest fee. Currently, they pay $500 for a, a body artist, artist permit and then they've taken the test out of that. The problem that we've run into is that they're allowed to take the test as many times as they as they want and we've had people who have retested and retested and sometimes they've not been able to pay pass the test and so what we did is we left the fee for the the body artist permit at five hundred dollars we established a, an initial testing fee of a hundred dollars which will allow them to test twice and if they have to test more than twice it will be fifty dollars each time and when they when they pass the within the first two attempts that hundred dollars will come off of their five hundred dollar fee okay well the only thing that concerns me on this temporary thing is that you may you mentioned the vacation and going somewhere you you know i wonder if you're going to have somebody show up and he works for two weeks and decides he wants to stay two more weeks so he applies for another temporary permit and he does that three or four times in a row I, the, the ordinance has some type of limit on that. Yeah, the ordinance says that it's for no more than two weeks, and so I, I think, and I think what what legal may have intended is that they they not be able to do that for any longer than a two week period. So I and Miles may speak to that, but uh, Mayor, it, I would like to point out your the temporary Michael. body the temporary body art permit requires that the person be qualified in another jurisdiction to perform that. body art, and it's a discretionary permit. It says the director must be satisfied that the circumstances under which the applicant for a temporary body art permit license will perform body art will conform to the requirements of this article in state law and nothing in this section shall be construed as requiring the director to issue a temporary body art license so she has some discretion if you have the person who's repeatedly coming in and abusing the process she's not required to issue the temporary body art permit but mayor it wouldn't be too financially beneficial for them to do that because it's a hundred bucks every time they come back to do it so they would be better off just to get pay the 500 and get licensed and if they were planning on doing it all the time okay well, if everybody's happy with it i'll be happy with it i just i just think there's room for abuse there even you know tattoos aren't cheap they make quite a bit of money on, on doing those things and uh, now, I don't know from experience, I'm, I've heard, <laughs> so uh, they make quite a bit of money on those things, so it wouldn't be all that onerous, I don't think, for a tattoo artist to pay a $100 fee two or three times a year if that's what he needed to do. But. Look, and Mayor, or Lou, does the uh, temporary, like a visiting artist, they have to be sponsored by a local licensed Correct. shop, right? They, they have to be sponsored by a innovate. shop who has a, a license. <laughs> All right, and, if you'll and, kind of put some feelers out and see if any other cities have a temporary permit, and if they do, do they limit the number of times in a year that they well, can? I'll check on that. I will tell you that very few cities have body art uh, establishment permits and, and ordinances. They're handled 
by the state we choose to do that on a, a local level but I will check with the, okay. the few that are out there all right any other questions from council from the public have a motion and a second to approve council bill number 26 an ordinance amending article 9 body art of chapter 26 6 and section 48-86 of the code of ordinances providing a penalty of up to two thousand dollars per violation all in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed same sign motion passes 